I, I find that uh, uh, talking's not my first language, so I'm, I'm, I feel very compromised by all questions, actually. <laughs> We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the time or the ability, actually, for reflection to 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 really think like that. I'm all, I'm I'm always trying to outrun a, a huge wave that's about to come down on me. So I'm I'm always sometimes it's that, sometimes it's that running away, and sometimes it's running towards something else. It's an, an imperative, an impulse, so... The difference is between my records are for someone else to, de to determine, actually. Daniel, Dan started, he, he wrote to me and... Uh, in, in writing, he's a very, very seductive man. For me, the the, uh, the the language of the internet was a very new thing. But I started getting getting these beautiful letters from this man, and um, I think that's the most important work that Dan and I have done together is the letters that we write to each other, um, and we we if we have the wherewithal we will publish those because that's that's the that's the important thing those letters are really spiraling birds and matrices Hector died he's, he's Hector's, uh, he, he died uh, about a year after we finished and, uh, he was just spying out he was just going to go buying a house in Marseille and uh, it was a very big decision for him and, uh, but he died before he, before he came to his beautiful house in the by the sea and um, he, died, you know, he died very very fast, there was no warning, he didn't know he was ill and then suddenly he was, then suddenly he died and I, you know, I think it's important to, to, to remember you must, it's not tomorrow, you must do it now, whatever it is to be done now. But he's a very charming man, Hector. It was very challenging for me, that's why. Ruby's less affair, she said she really doesn't care, she goes now. I'm working on, um, on memory, actually, I, for me the days of the week are, they, they, it's, it's irrelevant because I just have, you know, how I work. And I, I don't have a weekend, um, but I'm working on memory so that I, I, I think I don't, I don't remember the last twenty years, but I think maybe I'll start now. I'll begin now. I'll make a concerted effort to remember by by taking photographs and documentation the only the only evidence i have of the last 20 years is records and i think it's not enough it's um, i think at, at one point i thought to have no memory is a good thing so you're always absolutely present but now i sort of want to build a build a sculpture out of memory Whenever, I, whenever I've seen anything um, recorded or um, filmed, I, actually I don't think it's a good idea for me to see it, but if, when I do I'm always very, very surprised at, at who that person is because um, it's not familiar to me. I suppose what I've learnt is that I have, I have st stability within instability. So something that I, I have, there's, there's 
something that's moving very chaotically and very fast, I'm actually very still inside it. That's why I'm, I'm always very, very surprised at the outward representation of what, what I, the way my, my, my body and um, my, the way it, the, the way it plays, the way it displays itself. I'm always very, very surprised by it. It's not familiar to me. The, the inside language is, is very much, is very still, but the outside, man, my outside manifestation is very chaotic and, um, yeah, I always find that very. Uh, that's this. That that is. Um, it's almost like a discipline. It's almost like meditation, and that's. This is when this is when music is perfect, and it's almost that. Uh, I'm not singing the song, but the song is singing me. It's the other way around. And the worst moments is when that when that goes, when that breaks, and um, and I'm when the meditation is broken, when it, when, the, when the thread breaks, and then it's true chaos actually. And um, I, I spend my. Well, actually, I do go. I go swimming in London, and the, there's a. It's quite. It's quite. Um, it's very utopian. There's a pond in the middle of um, Hampstead Heath, and uh, it's been used since Victorian times. Uh, women only. Women only place in the middle of of the heath, and it's. You know, it's wild swimming, so it, I mean, it's a very beautiful place actually, it's very utopian, it's very idealistic and it's, it's very remarkable that that actually exists in a huge me metropolis, there's suddenly this wild, wild, beautiful eye in the middle of this so much uh, destruction there's that beautiful pure place so that's it's not a district but it's yes it's very lovely well t talking about uh, uh, talking about Hampstead Heath again when I think I was There was a, a, a moment, I must have been running from something, something that made me very upset or, or perhaps there was a fight or something, I don't remember. But I ended up on the top of the hill where you could see the whole of London and there was a man there with a, with a telescope and he was looking at the planets and he was looking at Mars and, and uh, he, he called me over to look in, look into the telescope and it was just um, it was just a, a very uh, profound moment to see you know to be nothing in infinity to see and to see and to see some of those planets you forget sometimes that they're there everything becomes focused looking down and in the microcosm down there but we have infinity all about us and uh, that was very yeah that was a that was a very a, a pure moment i don't know who the superhero is but 
probably infinity. <laughs> Still, still, so much that I can't stop.